So skill development, professional certifications, earn nine industry recognized G GIAC, a G I A C, a cybersecurity certification, practical experience because you'll be hands on, and then go out and look for your job. So now, when you go out and look for your job and you have a sand search, um, I'm going to say most people will be willing to hire you because they understand how hard it is to get those sand certs. It's the same way with the RHCSA. Somebody asked earlier, should I go Linux or Linux Plus or RHCSA? Linux Plus is a CompTIA based cert. Um, they get together with people from the industry and we help actually write the CompTIA uh, exam and what you should be doing. Um, they fly you out to Chicago, they put you up for a whole week, and you are in a room, locked in a room, figuring out what needs to be, what from your experience, what do people need to have on. Uh, need to study and have on this exam so they can meet the standards that the industry is requiring, right? Um, it's the same thing for the Red Hat search. Again, I'm pro Red Hat because I'm mostly primarily in the government sector. So government is really big on Red Hat. They're really big on uh, Rancher. They're really big on Kubernetes, OpenShift, OpenStack. That's the arena I play in. So I'm going to always pump them because one, I know for a fact that I get paid on that, right? I was just having this conversation this morning about where would I live to get paid, right? So if you are following anything government, any, any government contracts, you understand that your places like Texas, in particular San Antonio, um, in particular uh, Colorado within the Denver area, uh, Colorado Springs, your places like San Diego, uh, places like Norfolk, Washington, D.C., the DMV area, Macon, Georgia, uh, the West Palm Beach, uh, Florida, uh, uh, North Carolina, uh, West Virginia. Uh, if you understand government contracting and you understand uh, who are the big key players, yeah, Huntsville, Alabama, those those areas are, are always looking for Linux people. There's so many smaller companies that have 30 employees. And those companies may have 30 employees, but they pay each one of their employees 150 to 250 a year.